Is Red Dead Redemption the conversion? This is not a remaster. It's not a remake. It's a conversion. It's not a port. A conversion. I just see Dr. Evil. That's what they call it. Conversion. (laughs) Conversion. Is it worth $50? Jason, I have a serious question to ask you. Yep. You bought this game. I did. We had a video we brought out. We're like, all this gamers. is dumb. <laughs> the remake is dead. Okay. I can't believe this. Yeah. And it's then Jason was like, I'm going to come out and I want to buy this game because yep. I love Red Dead Redemption. Yep. So now you've been playing it. Yep. How do you feel? Love it. <laughs> is it worth 50? I just realized. Yes, it is. Oh, whoa. What? Whoa. Yes, it is. So. Why? Okay, yeah, why? All right, so a little Break bit it down. a little bit of things about this game. It is phenomenal. Uh, I don't think the graphics need a major update. They they fix some things in the game. Does it look visually better? Yeah, it looks visually better. Yeah. It, it's it, compared to like the older style, it does. There's still like so Apparently it's running 4K. Yeah, it's I mean, still it's it still res, looks yeah. great. And for me, for like people that haven't like actually played this game and they jumped into red dead 2 and have like absolutely no idea what's going on this is a good game to jump into and the reason why red dead 2 is outstanding it's amazing but there's too much in that game there is way too much in straight that game. up and there's so much to like encounter in that game but this one is very simple but there's still enough to encounter to make it interesting then also if my horse runs into something I don't fly off of it automatically. I fucking hate that shit, you know? With this that killed one, me one time. Yeah. Like, with this one, I can run into whatever. And why I say it's worth the 50 bucks, because you get two games in one. I mean, it hit me pretty hard about it, because you have Undead Nightmare. I haven't jumped into Undead Nightmare, because I want to follow it along with the storyline. You storyline a game there. and a DLC, but, you know. It's yeah, well, the DLC was sold separately back in the day. That's true. Yeah. So, to me, it's two games in one. It's true. And it's a whole different game with Undead Nightmare. So I'm playing the game. Same world though, right? Same world. So, so yeah, but it's still huge, but yeah. yeah. But like, I came to a realization whenever I was playing it, it was just like, I know why I love this game more than RDR2. It's just, just because I still have the Western feel. I still have the storyline, the deep storyline. I still have like uh, these strangers coming up to me, but I'm not uh, stuck with a hassle of worrying about eating, worrying about bathing, worrying about my horse's health, worrying about this, worrying about that. I'm just playing a game. It's too immersive, is what you're saying. Way too immersive. This one is not. It's immersive to a point. And I think that's what Rock, Rockstar did very well with because you still have these weird stranger missions happen or you still have these weird encounters and stuff. But with yeah. this game, it's just like, it's simple. It brings me back to the day where I can like, I can jump off of this game, play Baldur's Gate for a little bit and be like, you know what? I want to play Red Dead. But I don't want to play Red Dead. Or, I don't want to play Red Dead Two because that that's going to be life consuming. I can just jump in this and still get that feeling, get that storyline, get that in depth thing. Yep. I yep, think yep. that's what I enjoy the most about it. <clears throat> well, fair enough. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I I I, I, I completely agree with you with Red Dead Two. <laughs> it's just, it's, there's so it's much, so much, but you still get that much into this game, but not like above and beyond. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this game like drew me in to other games like Assassin's Creed. Um, uh, fuck. I lost my train of thought. Assassin's Creed, Alan Wake, other uh, Ghost of Tsushima. This game kicked it off for me for storytelling and single player adventures. Like this one really like got me into games that I would normally not play. And like really get immersive in the story. So me yep. going back yep. to yep. it, especially yep. coming off of Red Dead 2, I'm like, now I get to experience this. Yes, I do agree that it should have been remastered. But if it was, I think they should have kept everything basically the same, but add in missions about author and about like RDR2, what happened in those events. Mm-hmm. Because now you're listening to what's happening. You're like, there's some key all. moments like yeah. that happen that happened in RDR2 that they're comparing it to, but they're not going in details about it. And I'm like, I want to, I want those details in there. I kind of want that fixated into that. But besides that, man, it's running great. I ran into one issue where I T-pose on top of a horse. Uh, but ever since then, it's been, it's been good. You know, it's a basic, simple game before it's time. Whenever it came out back in that day, phenomenal. 
And to me, it's still a phenomenal storytelling game. It's still a fun gameplay game. And I don't feel like missions get repetitive for me either. You know, I still can just jump in. I can go do some bounties. I can go do like go hunt some things. I still can do all this other stuff. Go treasure hunting. But like it's not as immersive as simple. Yeah. And for fans of RDR2, I highly recommend if you never played this is to pick this up. And then like hands down the Undead Nightmare DLC is worth it alone because that game is fucking bonkers bananas fun. So, well, I think I know why they did fifty fifty dollars. Yeah, because you do high, right? You do it high. You're gonna have people who w- love this game like you. Mm-hmm. They're gonna pay fifty bucks. Yeah. So they get those people who pay fifty bucks. Then they're gonna decrease the price probably around Black Friday. Yeah. And you're gonna get it for like forty bucks or something, or maybe even forty five, so a little less. So someone who was on the edge is gonna be like, "Oh, well, I'll get it now; it's cheaper." And then eventually, it's gonna it's gonna drop in price to the point where it's probably thirty dollars, like it is now for if you get the Xbox copy. Um, you can play on the Xbox One S. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then they'll get those people mm-hmm. eventually. So I think it's a strategic move to make as much pot money as possible, which everything is these days. So yeah, I think that's the plan. But I could be wrong. Maybe it just stays fifty for the next like five years. I don't know. Could be. That's Rockstar. Who knows? Yeah. Well, well not it's Rockstar. Not. It's two K. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so. I mean, you're right. Like, I kind of want to pick this up again. <laughs> like, but it, I'm gonna wait until it's cheaper. What sucks about this game? Because I played it so many different times. Is like the first couple of missions are like super fucking slow. Uh, because you're like it's tutorial stuff. You're yeah, learning how yeah. to ride a horse. Well, you're Jeez. learning how to like. Uh, Wrangler horse and you're doing missions with Bonnie like herding cows into an area and all that stuff that's like the slowest part but once you get past it you, you know, you're getting into it getting into the story and like actually learning things about this world it's just it's fun yeah. you know I agree man and, I mean just looking at it I mean it looks bringing it all back <laughs> it looks great in my own opinion like for a port or whatever they're calling this a conversion? What, what was it? Conversion. Conversion. I mean, it, well, for how old the game is too. I mean, it's holds up well. Holds up really it holds well. Holds up really despite well. GTA normal games, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I am, I am not disappointed in it at all. Like, if you guys aren't playing a game, or if I'm like not in the mood to play a game, and I just want to like play something, this is what I turn to. Yeah. Yep. yep you yep. know. And I'm ready. I'm excited to get to the point because I'm waiting to get to the point where I, I find my family and I have a house. And that's when I jump into Undead because that's where the story picks up in Undead mm-hmm. Nightmare. And I'm going to jump into Undead and like kill off all these zombie hordes and then jump back into the game and finish it and then finish off Undead Nightmare. Yeah. So I agree with you, though, about RDR. I mean, that's why I fell off of RDR 2. Mm-hmm. And I want to get back into play it because, I mean, it's a beautiful game and stuff like that. But I did feel like it was a little too immersive. Yes, and and uh, I'm worried GTA Six is gonna. I'm seeing some rumors about that I one. I'm worried concerned. it's gonna have that same problem because mm-hmm. it's like there. I see. I feel like there is a point where too much realism to real life is just it's just work at that point. You yeah. know, you play a game to escape real life, and if you're gonna make me take care of my body in the game and have to you know slow down and rest and find food and this that whatever, I'm like I don't want to have to do all this like the game should do that for me so I can focus on the fun stuff, which is like the combat and the story and mm-hmm. this, that, whatever. But yeah, it might be something I want to, I might, I might re- revisit. I was, so I still have a big problem with the price point because I was doing some research while you were talking about this. Okay. And so they have a game of the year edition for Xbox one and Xbox 360 that has this game and undead nightmare 30 bucks. Yeah. And you can play it on Xbox. So I might as well play it on the Xbox. Yeah, it's, yeah, the, it's same the same game. Yeah, yeah. Is it like is but everything the same? The lighting it? is going to yeah. be different. Lighting will be different. Maybe. But that's but only that's I'm the only on Series thing. X, though. So it's going to, it should be like up res a little <coughs> bit. Well, I mean, the tech to up res the, the stuff. But it won't be the same as this port because the port does have some adjustments made to it. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. Like, I don't know why. Well, PlayStation do doesn't that? have it either. That's another thing. Yeah. Like, PlayStation doesn't have... Uh, oh, that's true. Yeah. And that's why, like... That's the right, main so this, is what, this is what it looked like on 360. Wow, it actually looks really good. Yeah. yeah. And then that's uh, Xbox One. Yeah. Which, so, does, which looks good. Not much different. 
Yeah. I wonder what it looks like on the 360. Switch. It looks oh, a lot wow. better. I mean, look at that. Good. The anti-aliasing is like and that's 30 roof. bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's 30 like, bucks. Well, good for you people that have an Xbox. All right. What do you want from me? I'm just saying. I'm just like, why did they release it for $20 more on just a different platform? Because they're tr- going to make all the money they can off nostalgia. Yeah, pretty much. It's assholes. I know. I know. I swear to God. And like at first I felt like I'm just doing this for nostalgia, but like I'm actually like really enjoying myself. Oh yeah. It's still a great game. Yeah. So yeah, Brett. So yeah, if anybody has an Xbox, just go get the Xbox yes. 360 Game of the Year edition. If you can find it, and boom. It's on Amazon it right on. now for thirty bucks. Yeah. Boom. There you yeah. go. Is so, it not on like their store or anything? Oh yeah, it's on their store. I mean oh. it's it's like not off the market. It's available. So yeah, you just go buy it, and it looks really good on Xbox One X, and it looks really good on PlayStation Five. Like that's what I'm playing on right now, and I am not disappointed. But like, I mostly recommend this for people that never played the game. Like, if you play, if you if the first one you played was RDR two, and you're like, I want to know what happens continuing forward, highly recommend it. It's worth it. And then the Undead Nightmare mode is just fucking bonkers, and I love that game so much. I feel like I need to go back to it. Just can now. So, in this, do I have to play no. Undead Nightmare? Okay, so I can jump straight. You can in jump Undead straight Nightmare. into Undead Nightmare. Yeah, they actually have two different modes. They have two I different modes for uh, Red Dead Redemption. You can play normal or hardcore. I'm playing in normal. I don't know what hardcore. I don't know the difference. And then, or you can just jump into Undead Nightmare. Got but it. for me, for like storyline wise because uh undead nightmare happens whenever you find your family and stuff and uncle gets bit by a zombie and bites your family and then you gotta you tie up your family like i'm, I'm gonna go find a cure we're, we're gonna get you guys fixed so that's marston's main job and it just goes like fucking just off the rails crazy and i love it Lord. <laughs> and then you can find like the the four horses of apocalypse you can find the fifth horse which is a unicorn shoots rainbows out of its ass i like that fucking yeah. amazing love it well, there you have it. Red Dead Redemption. Conversion. Conversion. Is it worth 50 bucks, according to Jason? Yes, it, it is. It is for me. Pick it, it up. It is. Red it Dead was. Redemption plus the Undead Nightmare, available now on PS4. It plays on PS5, and it's on Switch. You can take it with you wherever you want to go.